The Rising 7 camp is literally a WCT event in two days. The third challenge really tested the girls because they've spent about an hour and a half in the water, big wash throughs, big bombs of waves just taking everybody out. I was so off it. Oh, makes me angry. I reckon I want to go be shit hot and just, yeah, do what I can. Day two was establishing the current leaderboard, letting the girls know that there was another challenge that could change the current positionings, and then informing them that we were going to replicate the WSL finals and have a three, a top three surf off. Kerry, you've been a bit of a silent assassin in this competition. You know, you started pretty slow, uh, but you've been incredibly consistent. And to still be challenging the best girls, I mean, obviously Nixie and Ellie were the ones that we saw as being the front runners because of the fact that they're both on the Challenger series, but that really doesn't mean anything at this point because everyone has the capacity to be beaten. And, um, and you've shown that through consistency and application that you can actually challenge the best girls in the world. Well done, Kiera, for, uh, for nailing those last two challenges. Yeah, well done. The reason that we've put you under that kind of pressure also is that there's days when you're going to have to surf three or four heats in a day. So how do you maintain the motivation, the energy and the consistency in and out of the water to help you perform at your best? So this is the current standings, there's one more challenge this morning. Whoever at the end of this next challenge is in the top three is going into basically WSL finals. So top three, third versus second in the first round, whoever comes out on top of that one will verse first and best of three. The girls seem to embrace it. They seemed pretty excited about the opportunity. We're going to go best two ways this time. Paddle from the beach, whoever gets out the back first has priority. So the person with priority gets first choice of wave. Everyone after that, there's no priority. So we got down to Hastings this morning and it was pumping and it stayed like that all day. We have been so blessed with weather, with waves, with winds. It's just been epic. We couldn't have asked for a better camp. Four foot, glassy, offshore, spitting barrels everywhere, maybe five to seven people out there. It was just extraordinary. What should we do about using our wax? Yeah, you can. First challenge of the day is the paddle priority challenge that we did yesterday afternoon. We just found, yeah, it was a really good challenge for the girls. Put them under a good amount of pressure, but we've actually upped it to two best waves this time, just allowing a little bit more opportunity. 40 minute drill. The conditions are pretty good today. We've got a bit more opportunity for lefts and rights. So obviously the goofy footers were all going backside yesterday. Um, so they'll have opportunity to go forehand today, which will be good for them. Yeah, it's going to be a good challenge to kick off the, the finale. Three, two, one. Paddling's not my strong point, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> Kira's a bit of a dark horse, you know, the, the smiling assassin. And um, she's the quiet achiever. I mean, she just operates in the background. She's always watching, always listening. Doesn't really share much. And when you tell her that she's either won a challenge or, you know, come in the top three of the challenge, she's like, really? Nervous wait now, I suppose. Just wait until everyone comes in. Yeah. Still in the running for top three. I have no idea. I don't know. I think who's still out there? Oh, Coral. Oh, Lil's on the way right now. Uh oh. Oh, she oh. fell. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen there. Someone who did really surprise us was Coral. Because she was out of the running, she smashed away for I think it was a two or three turn combo, and um, and scored herself an eight and, and got herself almost into the lead. So, yeah, it was an extraordinary start to an incredible day. 
So I'm pleased to say Nixie won that heat. Well done, Nixie. Yeah, the second paddle pro in challenge went better than the first one, definitely. Um, got a bit of a closeout in my first wave, but the second one I kind of redeemed myself a little bit and got a few nice turns. When we landed on the top three, we had Nixie in third, Kira in second, and Ellie in first. So the way that it rolls is third and second compete against each other, and then first gets to sit and watch and analyze and strategize and get pumped for the heat. How are you feeling, Elle? Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. You've eaten all the food out of my bag? Yep, yep perfect. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty happy, but Nixie's a hard competition, to be honest. It's going to be a good hate. I haven't really served many hates with her, so it should be good. And yeah, hopefully, we all get some waves so it's an even matchup. Kira took about 15 minutes to paddle out and I think that took a lot of gas out of the tank for her. So on waves that she would normally complete, she kept falling and that really cost her the win. Nixie, to her credit, also surfed incredibly powerfully well picked some good waves and completed them. And that's the important uh, difference between winning and losing is completing the waves. Yeah, I just wasn't completing those last turns and I think I needed to to, to get Nixie because she's she's on another level to me. So I had to, had to complete those turns and I didn't. So unfortunately I came away with third, but that's all right. It's good to watch the other two girls. The final. I feel a little bit nervous. So Nixie's been harbouring an issue with her shoulder. Her shoulder's yeah, like yeah, right. killing it. The waves were so perfect, offshore, light wind, sunny skies. I was like, I just have to go surfing. <laughs>